Yeah, so I was lucky enough to be a part of uh, a couple production tests here in America and um, was lucky enough to be uh, around the HRA crew and, and just get to see the bike in pre-production form, which was really cool. Um, just getting to ride it and give a little bit of feedback. I only did a, a couple of tests, but um, it, was, it was really cool for me. There was a whole process to go through and um, it was nice for me to see that and, and to have a little bit of awareness of, of what we end up with. Um, that it's it's a long long list of, of stuff to get through so um, it was cool I, I was honored to be there and, and hope to be a, at more in the future as you can see that uh, you know geyser has been racing this bike over in Europe for, for a while doing some development and uh, it's a it's a great platform for us to start on and I think that uh, we've already got a jump start on it with uh, Trey Kennard and uh, you know, having a test rider like Trey Kennard has been huge in our in our program and getting the bike set up and ready to go before uh, you know Ken and Chase are, are ready to get on it. It's important for a test rider to have um, a pretty good feel, like a, a pretty good awareness of of what's happening both with yourself and with the bike, the changes that are made, being able to articulate that. And I think that honestly, the biggest thing is just just honesty. Um, you know, if you don't feel anything. You just got to be honest with that and, and say that you don't feel it or if you do you, you just have to really try to be consistent and, and give the same input that you would give uh, no matter if you're having a good day or a bad day so that's that's the thing that i shoot for just trying to be honest no matter what we work uh, very close hand in hand, um, you know, especially the company like Showa. Uh, they have, you know, their their technicians are, you know, top of the heap. Um, and then I get to share my experience with them on the chassis side of it, and together we come up with settings that uh, make our bike work as best as possible. What's good is like we we've all worked together for a year now, uh, the two Showa technicians and myself. So we know each other well, and we know our riders well. We know Kenny obviously really well, and Trey Kennard, our test rider. So um, as we learn Chase Sexton, it all carries forward to the 21 bike. That much easier to set up. Yeah, it's a fun challenge for sure, especially when um, when the production bike that that we have now has a lot of things that we've been asking for, which you know a lot of the, the lighter weight, and um, we're already starting with an engine that's better and a chassis that's be better straight out of the box. So we're we're pretty confident that we're going to have you know um, a little bit of a head start compared to you know, previous years. Yeah, I was excited. You know, we we, uh, we had the chance to have the 2020 and then the 2021 and ride them back and forth. And so when we got to do that direct comparison, I was I was really optimistic. I think there's a lot of good characters that uh, the 21 has and things that we have been asking for and, and wanting and trying to gain uh, on the racing side. So to uh, start with a bike that is already taking care of some of those you know, things that we're really shooting for was, uh, I was really optimistic about that.